What up, what up, boys? Your man is Sua 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 Saturdays 29 back with another video. Okay, y'all, we got the Umar joint this morning. I got y'all, I got y'all. Wake up, here you go. Now, he had an SOS show with some man, a uh, person named Mary Evans. Um, I guess that's a female. I suppose, okay, yes, yeah, a female. Okay. So, uh, he, he's at this, uh, talk show or I should say interview or something to sit down, whatever, what not and all the what nots. And so we're going to get into it. We're going to see what he says. You know, he might say some good things. Of course, he know, he know, he has some knowledge and he might say some stuff that's not all hundred percent correct. You know how we do. So let's see what he talking about. Okay. Suicide squad. Let's get it. Let's do it. We got to educate our children. Economics. You ever wonder why black people got more sellouts than any other race in America? Have you noticed that? We have more sellouts and coons than any other people in this country. For one very big reason. We are the only people who do not systematically employ and economically empower their own. Okay, mute, mute right there. Right off the bat, we're only 22 seconds in. Now, where is the fact that we have the more sellouts than anybody else? Where's the facts at? Because remember, y'all, they have the light on us, okay? They have the tunnel on us, so they can pinpoint everything on us. They got the light on us. But the light is not on every other ethnicity in the world to see who got the more sellouts. It's easy to say we do because the light is on us. But how do we really know that we sell out the most than anybody else? We really don't know that. Now, it looks like that because they keep the light on us once again. But how do we really know that we have the more sellouts? Just because uh, other ethnicities um, support each other more. That doesn't, we don't know who got the more sellouts. It just looks like that because we are put on front street more than in any other ethnicity. And I'm not saying he's wrong. All I'm saying is how do we know if the light is only shed on us more than anybody else? Let's keep it going. Chinese systematically employ and economically empower their own. European Jews systematically employ and economically empower their own. Mexicans do it. Arabs do it. We are the only people in America. If a black child needs a job, he can't even come to his own community to get one. How are we going to expect our people to be loyal for us when we do nothing for them? And that's why we got to put our money together. It only takes a quarter of a million dollars to open up a credit union. That's sad. You know why that's sad? Because y'all spent about two billion dollars on Christmas gifts. See, mute, mute, mute. See, that's what I don't like that. I don't like that. I do not like that. Understand the program that we under. Okay, so we, we I'm not say, I'm not trying to use it as, as an excuse, people. I'm not trying to use it as an excuse. But the facts are the facts. We are under more pressure than other ethnicities as a whole. So, of course, we're going to be more uh, uh, prone to um, this system than others. So, when he say, oh, everybody else is systematically helping each other but us. Well, that damn, the system, is, it was set up for us to be this way. So, we can't, every time we try to uh, c come together on some turn, uh, uh, come together, we are what? We are dismantled, right? We are dismantled. Uh, are, are there, are there systems dismantling everybody else who's, who's coming together like that? No. So he, he can't say that. I mean, so he's right in, in, in one a aspect, but then he's wrong in another aspect because they, there's not a system out there that to uh, knock away the Jews for, for coming together, to knock away the, uh, the Philippines or the Asians from coming together. To knock away the Latinos from coming together. There's not a system in place for that. But soon as the African Americans or whatever call yourself. When we start getting them numbers up. There is a system out there to dismantle that. Come on man. Let's keep it going. So if you would just take your Christmas money. You can not only build a school for our children. You can build a bank to finance your business. Sit this the same man. This is the same man who wants to take uh, a million dollars, a, a quarter of a million or more of a million dollars to, to get a goddamn rundown building. But he want to tell you to stop buying Christmas gifts and build a school in your neighborhood and get a, uh, 
a, fin a financial uh, banking system, but he didn't do it with your money. You gave him enough money to, to build a, uh, get a bank, a financial system. Why didn't he do it? You gave, we gave him, you gave him enough money to, to build a school, but what'd he do? Got a rundown building that he can't even pay the taxes on. So what is he talking about? Come on, man. You can take the slave out of slavery, but only the slave can take the slave out of himself. Black people spend on average $2 billion a year on Air Jordan, $4 billion a year on liquor, $1 billion a year on fast food. You saw what just happened with uh, Popeye's. $40 yes. million dollars in a matter of hours. Yes. Uh, and we weren't even paid for that. Black women spend almost $20 billion a year on hair care and beauty products. But yet, there's not a black community in the United States I can go to where you can show me a black community that has all four of the essential institutions, which are a bank, a school, a supermarket, and a hospital. A bank to invest in the people, a supermarket to feed the people, a school to teach the people, and a hospital to save the people. How does a $2 trillion people, that's what we are, the richest group of Africans in the world, the 10th richest nation on the planet, there's only nine groups of people who bring home more take-home pay than African Americans do, and we don't have an independent community. There's two reasons for that. Number one, slavery destroyed our desire to control our destiny. That's number one. Yes. And after slavery destroyed, religion came in and glorified the fact that we wanted no control over our destiny by saying you need not worry about building a nation. Just pray and God will take care of it. The problem... Time out. I thought religion and slavery went together. Did, didn't it, didn't that, didn't religion religion and slavery go together sometime when it was when it was going on? Correct me if I'm wrong. They was talking about the Bible and stuff. Oh, come on, man! Like, come, come on, come on, y'all! Come on, come on! He said the religion came after. I thought the religion was already inside of us already when it came to that. I don't know, y'all. I wasn't born back then. I'm just saying, from what I was taught, the Bible and slavery coincide with each other. I don't know when they implemented it, but they said it was in there. That's that's what I learned. But it may maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, um, let's go back to this. Uh, you know, we we uh we are the you know the Air Jordans, you know the the hair and, and all the fast food and all that, bro. We're not the only, everybody does that. Everybody's buying that and everybody's buying this fast food. Everybody's buying the hair. I don't know what this fascination is, is to try to pinpoint. Hey man, if we, we all live we're, we're under this system on, on purpose. And now again, when a mass amount of black people try to come together and pull each other up, it's always something that's going to try to infiltrate it. It's always there. It's been there. The history shown and it's proven. When Mal Malcolm X wanted his own thing. Nope. Or Martin Luther King wanted to do his own thing. Nope. When you got black protesters out there. And then they start to get up numbers. And then people start getting mad. What happened? They get taken out. Dismantled. So what are you talking about? Every time we try to do self, 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 they implement some way to knock it out. Come on, man. This shit crazy. The problem with religion is not the religion. It's how Negroes who come in the name of Jesus and Muhammad teach it to politically uneducated black folks. There's nothing wrong with the Bible. There's nothing wrong with the Quran. But there's cowards in charge who don't want to use those books to wake black people up so they rather put us... Okay, I rock with that. I rock with that, B. I rock with that. There is people who use this in a negative way and do not want to teach you. I got you. Now, I rock with that. The Bible can be used, and I don't, I have never ever looked at the other books, but I'm pretty sure they can be used to empower you instead of enslave you. That's a fact. I, I rock with that. Every bank that 
receives at least a quarter of a million dollars a year. If a bank has a $50,000 revenue stream, they should have a bank. If a church has that, they should have a bank. If you're a church with at least a quarter of a million, you must have a bank for two reasons. You bring in enough revenue to invest in us to the point where every black person in Pontiac should have their own business. No black woman should ever have to work for a white man in her life when you got black churches bringing that type of money in. You see? Okay, okay, I'm not mad at that either. I'm not mad at that. Okay, if the church is bringing in that, what do you say, half a million or whatever type of million, they, I, it should feed the people around there. I ain't mad at that. I rock with that. He's saying if if, if uh, you bring in that type of money, not a black woman should work for a white man. Now that, I don't, I don't know. Again, I don't know. Because again, that's a lot of mouths to feed. So how, how, do you, how can you uh, spread that out? So much that it's enough money for people not to work. I don't know about that. And remember, everybody does not want their own business either. Everybody does not want their own business. So he can't say that, well, everybody should have their own business. Everybody is not built to have their own business. So I, I, I don't believe in that. So I don't believe all that. That money is not enough money to spread around all Pontiac for everybody to be okay and just not work. For, for the uh, system and then have their own business because everybody does not want their own business. See what I'm saying? So he got to watch that. So, so I agree with if you make that type of money, some people should be some people should be taken care of, but it's not enough for everybody to be taken care of. You're but they don't. So because the black church don't have a bank of their own, that means their money goes into a white bank. So on Sunday, you donate to church. They take your money, your black Jesus money, and put it in a white devil's bank. And then the white devil, stay with me, will take black people's Jesus money, and they will give it to other white devils to come into Pontiac and buy up your neighborhood and put the black church in the 21st century, because historically the black church was everything. But in the 21st century, the black church is a parasitic institution. It sucks the economic blood from black folks and don't give it anything back. So millennials can see that so they don't want to be bothered. Because in the millennial world, it's all about functionality and practicality. And if what you bring in me ain't functional or practical or beneficial for my life, I reject it. Right? But at the other end of that is the fact that my fear of the millennials... What I love the most about them is what you said. They're intelligent, they're trailblazing, they're innovative. Yeah. What I dislike about the millennial generation is they have almost no infusion of black consciousness amongst them. They are caught up in everybody else's struggle but ours. Okay, no doubt we done with that. Okay, like I said, before I started, Dr. Umar can speak. He has good knowledge. He's, he's smart. He has some intelligence. But then there's some things that you be like, come on, man, what are you talking about? All right, so that's it for this one. Maybe they'll drop it clip by clip. You know, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about this little clip right here. All right, um, I'll see y'all next video. Like the video, share the video, leave your comments below. Um, hit the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, man. If you, if you can donate to the channel, donate to the channel. Everything's appreciated. I'd rather you hit the PayPal than the Super Chat, okay? I'd rather you hit the PayPal than the Super Chat. Uh, last night was lit. Shout out to everybody last night. I forgot to put my PayPal link in the description. But yeah, shout out to everybody who donated last night. That was what's up. We lit, man. We doing our thing. It's your boy, sister, to Suicide Ace 29. Talk to your soul, soul mirror. The balance keeper, no one safe. Poking the people. Sisterhood, anti-bully gang, civil back gang. Lee love the ladies. Lady loves Lee. And ladies, you are definitely lovely. Don't chase the light. Let the light chase you. I'm out of here. Suey!